is loading. Okay, and we are live. All right, so we have to watch the stream, right? Yes, please. Let me know if you guys are seeing everything okay. Hmm? Oh, is this virtual Disneyland? This is virtual Disneyland. Is this the one that had the that you could also use with the Connect? Yeah, and then years later they ported it to the PC and the Xbox One. Okay, so the stream looks okay. Everybody can see everything. Yeah, I can see it. And we can hear everything fine. Okay. Um Let's see here. Ooh. Oh, we got twenty two people watching already. You know, before we start, guy, did we uh, did we put sunscreen on today? <laughs> also, don't 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 run. Very it's cool. Barack Obama. <laughs> oh, oh my God! <laughs> Come back! Come back! <laughs> is it is it wrong that all the crowds are making me uncomfortable right now? Yeah, right. <laughs> We're too people. Uh, if anybody coughs, we'll we'll be sure to to run away. Okay, for those watching, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, feel yeah, free really to thanks. leave any questions in the chat, and we're going to be answering anything about uh, the parks or touring or, you know, if you just want to say hi. Um, so this game is a little visually outdated. It was made in, I want to say, 2010 or 11. So uh, DCA across the way still is sporting the old postcard entrance. Ah. Um, but, you know, there hasn't been too many big changes inside the park. So we're inside the entrance area right now. And everybody <laughs> looks uh, very happy. We got the Mickey floral in the train station. Looks nice. Yeah. yeah I played this game. Um, my, my mom actually had it, had the Connect version. And I did it, which was, was much harder to try to walk yourself around. Well, yeah, because you, you also, point. I've like, done it before. I, we, I never... Yeah. Well, yeah. You'd be like point and I had done it before I had ever been to Disneyland, so it would tell me things like, you know, go to the Matterhorn and yeah. okay, all the Matterhorn. Like but much. it would tell me to go someplace, and I'm like, I don't know where that is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we got some attraction posters, just like the real thing, here in the, uh, the entry corridor, and we got the the plaque up there, the little merch stand. Now we're in Town Hall. Let's go up to our Town Square. Let's go, uh, let's go up the train station platform. People waiting <laughs> for the train. You can't get on the train. You can't really get on any rides. You can you can only get on the Astro Orbiter or Dumbo. And then other rides are represented in like mini games. So you can ride Space oh, yeah. Mountain and you fly around in space and uh, shoot comets and that sort of thing. And when the uh, when we when you go past something that can be activated, that's when the circle um, bursts. Yeah, uh, there'll be like a little portal. Um, yeah. Okay. And then also as when we're walking you... through, we'll we'll see characters that we can interact with, Disney characters, and uh, give them hugs and wave and stuff. So. Uh, Look how somebody's small your asking... castle looks. It's almost like a real one. Go ahead. Yeah. Somebody's asking if this is an online <laughs> game. It's not an online game. It's just a single player game. But. Uh, yeah. It's a virtual recreation of Disneyland, so we thought it would be fun to take everybody into the park since they can't go into the real Disneyland. This would be a great online game, though. Like, yeah, definitely. I wish you could watch you like virtual Abe Lincoln, but I wonder why they didn't they didn't expand this. Yeah, because I mean, I know it would be uh, really really difficult to do all of the different attractions, but what they've got here is fantastic. Yeah, definitely. It's amazing how how close to reality they kept it. Like yeah. they, oh yeah. I mean, even the planners and everything look just like a Disneyland yeah. ones. Got is the, this the line for Galaxy's Edge? Is yeah. this the line for Galaxy's Edge? Is this the line for Galaxy's Edge? <laughs> Got the uh, fire station here with Walt's apartment above it. And there's actually for the first like mini game. Windows. You have to run around panicked because you couldn't get a boarding pass. Yeah. There's one heck of a uh, uh, manual cover over there. It's going to trip someone. All right, what are the coins? 
the coins? Uh, the coins are so you can buy merchandise. So um, I guess that, you know. <laughs> the most Disney thing yeah. ever. <laughs> <laughs> you can customize the look of your character. I guess we'll do that uh, at some point. This All was right. before Starbucks moved in when this was still okay. the market house. All right. Uh, looks like can you go in the theater? Uh, I can't go in the theater, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. uh, we got the lockers back here. Got the painless dentist. Love the running action, preparing to rope drop. Somebody said in the chat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, fruit is an important part of one's uh, diet in Disneyland. Yeah, and I don't see the. Oh wait, no, the pickles are right there. So Bob Chapek is is uh, very happy right now. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't, I don't, let's, not, let's not go that far, but they're oh, pickles yeah. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in, maybe in the in the world of the game, Bob Chabek is happy. In oh, real life, sure, I'm sure yeah, he's yeah. not very happy. You know? He's got other things to worry about right now. Yeah. So mm, what, what do they call for... these things? The, um, the the movie things where you where you turn the dial and the little movie plays. There's there's like a name for them. I forgot what it's called. And Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Yeah, they have the Nickelodeons. Yeah. They have the press penny machines. Can't use them, obviously. I thought there was a way to get a fortune from Esmeralda, but I guess there's not. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. oh, there's Donald. Let's say hi to Donald. Now, the dimensions on the characters are a little freaky, are they not? Where's Donald? Uh, we're not quite at Donald. Here on yeah, I was gonna say yeah, for those watching, Len and I oh, are, yeah. are watching guy play on the on the stream because we we couldn't share the screen properly. Yeah, Donald's so, a little small. Um, so we, if we make comments that are a little bit behind, that's why. Yeah, sorry about that. Everyone. Yeah, you definitely can't fit a human inside there. Not that Donald has a human inside him. That would be ridiculous. Yeah. What a great hug. When did you, a guy? When did they stop developing this? I think this came out in 2011. So, uh, so right in, now, uh, did they did they ever release a second version or an update? They did not. They just released it. Uh, um, apparently, they, a, a, a California Adventure expansion was in the works, but I guess the game didn't sell very well, so uh, they never went forward with it. Okay. Uh, now I'm standing by corn the dog. corn dog cart. Uh, I think we could all go for a Disney corn dog right about now. Mm. Cold, cold drink and a corn dog sounds delicious. So now I'm walking over to the Plaza Pavilion, uh, which is now known as Jolly Holiday Bakery. So whenever they took the reference shots for this game, um, this was before it, it was converted from the annual pass holder processing center to the Jolly Holiday Bakery. I just think that's an interesting oddity about this game. <laughs> oh, it is, isn't it? That'll be two thousand dollars, please. Yeah. And now, right next to yeah, see, I wasn't. I wasn't. So go ahead. No, I was going to say, I, I didn't visit Disneyland until 2014, so okay, there are some yeah. things in this game that I've never actually seen in real life. Yeah. Just one. Uh, now right next to it, uh, just just like in real life, yes, they do have Disney Vacation Club carts in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Photorealistic. $20,000, please. <laughs> yeah. Photorealistic Disney Vacation Club carts. That's and that's why this needs to be like a, an online game, because they could actually sell DVCs. Sell it. Yeah. Could you imagine? So now I'm Should walking go. over to the partner statue, which I think looks really good. And uh, you'll see that a se in a second on the stream. But uh, yeah, I think they, they nailed it. Whoever, whoever sculpted that in 3D really did a good job. And anybody watching, if you have, you know, Anything else you want to talk about, like while we're doing this, that's fine. It doesn't just have to be about the game. Oh yeah, we're just kind of as as a jumping off point. So yeah, please, any anything, anything you got. Uh, also around the hub, 
We have all the little statues of the characters, which look good. <laughs> and of course, the Main Street vehicles, which you unfortunately cannot ride, yeah. but um, they are scattered around the hub. So right now I am walking to the Omnibus, which is uh, one of my favorite of Disney attractions of all time. I don't even want to know how many times I've tweeted about that on the Touring Planes account. <laughs> Let's walk over you, to the castle. You, you can't get on it. No, you can't get on it, unfortunately. Ugh. See, there is a there is a world in which this would be like a Grand Theft Auto type game where you could just take it and yeah. just start mowing down. <laughs> yeah. Grand Theft Auto Disneyland. Could you imagine? <laughs> I can actually. That's yeah, we can. Yeah. You know, if if, if uh, so, Scott Wilson wrote. Uh, do you guys think that when they open back up, they'll do some kind of gradual opening with only some rides, or maybe just on-site people allowed it? So, I definitely think they're going to do a gradual opening. I'm expecting. Um, I don't expect all the resorts to be open. I don't expect all the restaurants to be open. Uh, and I would say certain attractions probably won't be uh, be open even if the park itself uh, comes online. So for table service restaurants, imagine a scenario where there's six feet between every table. So maybe every restaurant runs at like a third of capacity. I don't think you'll see um, counter service restaurants or quick service restaurants with lines to order food. It'll either all be uh, mobile ordering or they'll pulse you in, uh, stuff like that. Uh, Disney construction delays due to pandemic, Kyle B. wrote. Uh, yeah, my, our understanding is that uh, Disney laid off all of the construction workers. So however many weeks we're going to be closed, um, we'll have at least that much in delay and probably more because you've got to rehire everyone. Everyone's probably got to go through drug tests again. Then they've got to, once they get everyone on site, they've got to figure out where they left off. They've got to retrain everybody on the safety equipment. They've got to fix anything that happen to uh, get damaged due to weather, right? So you're looking at, you know, throw another month or two months in for that. <clears throat> I heard Yeah, which means things like Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and uh, the Spider-Man attraction in, in California Adventure may not open this summer, maybe fall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I heard uh, all the Disney boat rides, water rides, anything with water uh, were drained recently also. Oh, yeah. Which makes sense. Uh, by the way, I just wanted to point out real quick, um, this game was made in the time uh, before Disney owned Star Wars, Lucasfilm, and all that, so Star Tours is blank. Yeah. Okay. There's uh, wow. no, no reference to Star Tours. Okay. How's it going, uh, Kyle? It looked like it looked like you chest bumped Mickey in there somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna ride the Astro Orbiter. Uh, somebody's asking, uh, what was that question? Andrea in the chat, guy, what's the first thing I'll ride when I go back to Disneyland? Um, I think I'll definitely rope drop and do Rise of the Resistance. Uh, I want to do Indiana Jones Adventure because uh, that'll that's going down for a long refurbishment at some point this year. I mean scheduled to who knows if they still will um and you know the classics parts of the caribbean of course haunted mansions close for improvement. i gotta say the graphics on this aren't bad for you know nearly 10 years ago yeah yeah i mean they look they look really good and of course like i'm i'm running i'm running it on a pretty pretty good computer right now so it's true. But still, um, this is in the days before dedicated uh, graphics processing units, right? On, like, consoles? No, I mean, they didn't... When they when they wrote these games, they didn't have, you know, a GTX 2080 in oh, mind, yeah, I mean, right? Because it didn't exist. They right? probably had, like, like low-end stuff. Oh, low-end now. Um, yeah. Hello, Buzz. So I see uh, John asked, uh, so he's never been to Disneyland. What are the best things at Disneyland, not at Disney World? Um, I mean, not the, 
there are a couple rides that are just better at, at Disneyland, like Pirates of the Caribbean is the one that, that jumps out, um, which is, is definitely better. And then there's there's a bunch like there's a bunch of Fantasyland rides at Disneyland that are just not mm. at, at Disney World, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland, Who's, right. Mr. Toads is still there. Snow White. No. Um, yeah, uh, no, by the way, White. sorry, real quick, I just wanted to point out, you can make out uh, how much a churro is when they made this game, and it says $3.50, and I think now they're up to like $4.75. <laughs> nice. So. When you started that sentence with "you can make out," I was really afraid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can make Where's out. Where's that going with this? No problem. Yeah, it's great. It's what? grad night, and <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> dot dot dot. Uh, yeah, other things exclusive to Disneyland. I mean, Indiana Jones Adventure, obviously, mm-hmm. um, and just there's so much at Disneyland. There's so much to do at Disneyland. I think there's 70 rides and shows and things uh, more than any of the single yeah. Disney World parks. So yeah. I think I did I did film stuff for like top five rides that are unique to Disneyland and California Adventure. I think I posted the Disneyland one, but I never got around to the California Adventure one yet. And I, I forget the Disneyland one, I think, ended up being like 11 things in my top five list because there were so many. Uh, but yeah, California Adventure, actually, like most of the rides, because of course there's Tower of Terrors, the Guardians of the Galaxy, mm. Mission Breakout, there's uh, Incredicoaster, and... Um, the uh, all three cars rides and you know so there's there's actually quite a lot that exists in Disneyland that doesn't in Disney World yeah and the same the other way too but that wasn't the question so I'm Captain walking Hill. over to Space Mountain now and I'm just gonna play one of the ride mini games so everyone can see what it looks like um you know they're not like great. The I'm not gonna lie. the 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 charm of this game is walking around the park to me, but um, it does have oh, games. Yeah. Is this some sort of Tron game. Yeah. Right. Oh, here we are. Okay. So yeah, all you it really looks- do is fly around and uh, collect coins, which, like I said before unlock merchandise um there's no real combat or anything is this supposed to be um i was gonna say this the space mountain ride yes this is supposed to be space mountain Bigly? okay okay got it <clears throat> nice john says nice outfit <laughs> Uh, Ash Arts wrote, oh, I've played this game. The motion sensor version is also very fun. You can move around and it connects to the game. I would love to see that. It's, yeah, the connect is a weird, weird thing. Like it, they, they never, very few games do they figure out what to do with it. And this one, yeah, you kind of just like pointed in one direction and the, the person went that way or like it, it, I don't know. You didn't, you didn't move as much as I would have liked, mm. but that was kind of the problem with a lot of the motion games. They just dropped a lot of the motion with it. Oh, guys, made a friend. So, yeah, these uh, little mini games, um, you know, I wouldn't call them uh, fun, <laughs> but they're there. They certainly are mini. Yeah. How many how many mini games are there? Oh, I don't know off the top of my head. I a lot. There's there's one for Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I think there's one for Jungle Cruise. I think I think each land has one or two. Oh, okay, all right. Um, and if I recall correctly, none of them are tied to Disney characters. I don't think. I th- oh, I, actually, I, I correct myself. The the Peter Pan one I think does have your flying around Neverland. But, uh, all right, cool. Anyway. Again, the, the graphics here aren't bad for 2011. Yeah. Someone said, uh, or Kyle said, uh, 
are there any crews walking around the parks currently to keep them up? Uh, yeah, I, I think um, they have normal maintenance. I mean, very, very low numbers. Um, but as for like ride maintenance, I don't, I don't know if anybody is going around doing ride maintenance right now. I'd, I'd be surprised if they, uh, if they could, because you'd have to get a number of people together. Yeah, that's true. For that. <clears throat> The transitions in and out of the mini games take a while, huh? Yeah, they do. Uh, so are these yeah, cutscenes, or you can actually, you actually control the character? Yeah. So I'm going to exit out of this game and get back into the park because uh, who knows how long that game would have taken, and I'll just continue <laughs> walking around the park here. And as I'm walking through Tomorrowland, I don't know if you noticed, but the People Mover track is still there, uh, still unused, <laughs> just like in real life. <laughs> Occasionally, you will see the monorail go by, which is uh, really kind of cool. Uh, Utopia. So, is there any like overall goal to this game? I see you're supposed to be taking an autograph book to Goofy. Does that is it just like kind of menial tasks or is there some is there a way to like win? Yeah, you you just get little tasks and things. There's no real uh, story no, there's or anything tomorrow. like that. Can you um have you have you finished the game? No, I I haven't played through it cuz uh I'm I'm not a fan of the of the games that they included in it. I like how when you just run through groups of people, they scatter. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Matterhorn looks pretty good in this game. Yep. I also kind of like how they made Disneyland like kind of busy. Like it's not just an empty park. Yeah, definitely. Head over to Small World now, so you guys can see that. And uh, I don't, I don't know how well you can hear the sound effects or anything, but uh, they're also very accurate, like just the environmental sounds. So um, really, be before the stream, I was standing by the train station, and you would hear the conductor announce, "Now arriving at uh, main train <laughs> station," that kind of thing. Um, and now I'm standing by Small World. I can hear the clock ticking. I can hear the background music. All, like all the background music is accurate. So they, um, the attention to details of stuff like that is uh, really on point. That's fantastic. I have a question from Chad. Uh, I was just going to read that. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Well, no. I, I mean, he, uh, Chad has said uh, that that he basically was wondering what uh, what crowds are going to be like for the rest of 2020. Um, unfortunately, that kind of depends on when the parks open. The the sooner they open, the m sooner it will get back to you know quote unquote normal. But I think for now, we're kind of estimating that once the park opens, there will be a little bit of a delay in people going back there. Um, about, about I think nine weeks is what we're saying right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Nine, a nine week ramp up, and then then it'll get back to like somewhat busy. Uh, for for a little while and then kind of regulate, you know, I, I, I don't know, you know, maybe six, eight months, something like that after it opens. But I don't think any anyone here expects the parks to open April 1st. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't announce something earlier today. But um, it all just depends on, on when that is. Yeah, the other thing I would say is, as of now, we still see more people rescheduling trips for later in the year, then we see people canceling trips outright. So of the of the three options that we're seeing, right, you know, delay until later in 2020, or delay into 2021, or cancel outright, um, still seeing more people move trips. Also worth mentioning, Universal has announced their their extension of their closure to uh, mid May, April 19th, or oh, mid April. Oh, sorry, yeah, April yeah, 19th. April yeah. right now, yeah. yeah. Walking through Toontown yeah, is... now, um, uh, I guess they couldn't get the rights for Roger Rabbit because his uh, his likeness. Steven Spielberg wouldn't let them. Yeah. yeah. 
It's funny the things you think Disney owns, but not really. <laughs> yeah, just through licensing. You know, especially these days, you just you expect that Disney doesn't license anything, that they own everything, and you kind of forget that that wasn't always the case. Yeah. <laughs> Still don't outright own Roger Rabbit. So. That's got to be one of the few things in the parks that they don't own now, right? I guess, yeah, I guess so. Because, I mean, there was, you know, with the Fox, the Fox, uh, uh, they, I mean, I guess Pandora... They, they still technically license, I think. They own a lot more of it than they used to, but I assume James Cameron still has a good chunk of that. Yeah. Yeah, when all this stuff started happening with coronavirus, uh, it, it was funny. The, one of the first news items to come out was uh, the Avatar sequels <laughs> are, are delayed. Production shut del- down. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> See, we, we could have written that headline like three years ago and just <laughs> popped it out whenever it was needed. <laughs> I just pictured James Cameron popping out of a submersible and somebody saying, "Oh, there's there's this disease. Are, are the the are the Pandora sequels? Are the Avatar sequels going through? The, the what? Yeah. Which one? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. De- yeah, delay those. I don't know." <laughs> so in the game, can you sneak the kid into Club Thirty Three? Says Tim. <laughs> <laughs> the sign is there. The Club Thirty Three sign is there. Is it really? Yeah. Teacups. Toad? With the toad car out front, which is uh, pretty cool. Ooh. Just like in real life, they have a little photo op. <laughs> is the sword? Yeah, sword's there. All right. I wonder how long it took him to make this game. I mean, this is incredibly detailed. Yeah. Avatar, Avatar 2 coming winter 2039. <laughs> Mark it on your calendar. Yeah, even the uh, trash cans are, like, accurate. That's really weird. Uh, Jay asks, uh, do we think that the hard ticket parties will see a significant increase in max ticket sales to make up some of the lost revenue? The uh, The tricky part with that, Jay, would be Social distancing. There's a limit to how many people that they can uh, they can do for that, especially if they're going to close off certain sections of the park um, you know, for whatever reason during the parties. So I think that's uh, that's yeah, and, unknown. And I'll tell you, the, the, those sold out parties are not empty by any means. I'm really not sure how much extra capacity they had in those. Okay, did I? Uh, that you're at uh, Frontierland Shooting Arcade. Did I uh, did I tell you the last weekend the world was open? They put the machines on free play. Oh, that's cool. I oh. saw the pictures of the double fisting uh, rifles. <laughs> <laughs> a rifle in each hand. It was great. Honestly, one of the best memories I've, I've got I've had for Walt Disney World. <laughs> it was so much fun, and everyone was having a blast. The uh, the people were you know were laughing, and you could hear the. Uh, uh, as they were shooting, you could hear all of the targets being activated. It really added a lot to the uh, uh, atmosphere of the uh, the part of Frontierland. That's awesome. Uh, so now I'm walking back to an area that is no longer in the real Disneyland, um, Big Thunder Ranch. Uh, it was, of course, removed for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And my favorite detail back here is, uh, so, you know, you, you could meet the goats. You could you could pet the goats. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no goats in the game, but they do have the hand washing stations, which I think is really funny. <laughs> um, and also, like, I think the park could use some real hand washing stations uh, when they oh, open. Yep. I don't know. I I would be shocked if they didn't start putting <laughs> some of those in. Yeah. Right. So Kyle in the chat says, do you expect to see more virtual queues once the park open reopens? So yes. Disneyland app actually just added a section in the app that says virtual queues. So so in that, for now, all that's in there is Rise of the Resistance, but um, it really, the timing of it makes you wonder, like, if they are planning for more virtual queues. It, it couldn't hurt, right? It couldn't hurt to have them. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you saw more. I mean, again, I think uh, 
Uh, of course, there's quick source locations are going to go to mobile ordering. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, Guy, I, where, where are we now? Uh, we are walking oh. through Frontierland Frontier again. Land, yeah. Big, big Thunder's around here somewhere, right? Got, okay, we, yeah, we're going back towards pirates. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Ryan, what were you saying? I, I, no, I was going to say the, the, I, the virtual queuing, I just, I don't know. I, I, I wonder how much that would actually decrease people hanging around. I, I just, every time there's a virtual queue, even with fast passes, you see just groups of people waiting at the entrances then. Like, I, uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure it'll make it better. Plus, they can't do it on too many rides or else people won't have anything to do. That's the kind of the Volcano Bay problem, is that once all the virtual queues start, there's not that much to do other than sit and wait. So, sure. um, Which makes you want so to have attendance. Yeah, and that's... That's a good point. And they almost have to have people walking around, like, reminding people, like, hey, sp spread out. Like, yeah. it, it just it seems very awkward. I, I don't know. And I'm sure they don't know either. Do you remember when you were doing like a like a junior high dances and someone would, <laughs> if, if you went to a, if you went to a Catholic uh, school like I did, so the, there are uh, signs everywhere saying "Make room for the Holy Ghost." <laughs> yeah, leave, leave room for leave room for Jesus. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I, I think we should we should walk around Walt Disney World and say something like that. Leave room for Walt, maybe. <laughs> yeah. uh, Angel's Heart asks, "Do you guys have a favorite season festival and or party at the parks, guy?" Uh, I really enjoyed the um, Halloween party, which was moved to DCA last year. Um, I thought they did a good job. It had some really unique offerings. Um, they had like immersive trails with like a, so they would have like oogie boogie up on a platform and a bunch of projection effects everywhere. Um, they had like a haunted forest thing that was going on that was really fun. Um, as far as like festivals, I really like uh, Festival of the Arts at Epcot. I, I think that's gonna be the answer for a lot of people. <laughs> But yeah, what about you guys? Brian? I, I'm actually not a huge fan of any of the parties or festivals. Um, I like my favorite season to visit, at least Disney World, is like the Christmas season, but kind of before Christmas, like that, like first week of December range, I really like because all the decorations are up and everything, but it's not as crowded. It also helps the weather is pretty nice usually at that time. But I don't, I, I like the, I, I personally like the Christmas party at Magic Kingdom a little better than the Halloween party, but I don't love either of them. Um, I, I was at the Halloween party at Disneyland before they moved it to DCA and, and kind of felt the same there. I just, I just don't know that it's worth actually spending the money on, but um, I, I would say I like going at Christmas time or the, the rare times when there's really kind of nothing going on. So, uh, so June, June 17th, the, the day <laughs> Pretty when... Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> the day when nothing is going on, yeah. I like, uh, with you, I like uh, Christmas. I like the uh, months with the cooler weather. So, over the last couple yeah, months... Yeah, what Disney World, the weather definitely helps a lot then. <laughs> yeah, December, January, February were, were very, very nice. Uh, February has actually got a little, started getting a little bit warm, but when the weather's pleasant, it's it's a pleasure just to go through the parks. You know, throw on a light sweater or something. It's fantastic. The one thing I, I don't like is that it get you know it, it was getting dark like you know five o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit of a downside, but um, yeah. But overall, I'd, I'd, I'd take that over uh, you know uh, sixteen hours of light in July when it's ninety six degrees. Oh, it's it's ninety six degrees this week in Orlando. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say you're in New York though, so it's it's yeah, what so forty five today. Forty five, yeah, it's been raining. Yeah. So thirty three. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> let me know your secrets. Caricatures. I wonder how they picked the caricatures. Like, you think those are people who worked on the game? Yeah, probably people at the studio, <clears throat> the the concept artists. Some just went around and asked who wants to be in. Guy, did they do uh, bathrooms? Uh, you know. I don't know if the bathroom signs are there. I know you can't go in them, but let's run back and see. Yeah, we were at, I was with the, my family at Disney World right at the end There's of January. There's no bathroom sign. Amazing. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, disappointing. It would be much weirder if you could go in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. So. 
No, I was just saying we were at, at Disney World at the end of January, and the weather was fantastic. It was like in the 60s and 70s. It oh, was yeah. awesome. It's the first time I've been in Florida when it was actually like really pleasant in a couple of years, I think. So I'm walking to Adventureland right now, and uh, I'll show you this that I think is really weird. So the marquee for Indiana Jones Adventure is missing, but then there's the, like, this ride is very uh, expected mothers cannot ride, you know, this ride is jerky. That sign is mm -hmm. still there, and it says Indiana Jones Adventure, so I, w I wonder if that was like an oversight almost, like they accidentally left it in the game. Yeah, uh, they had the signs way. in the game waiting for Lucasfilm clearance and yeah. didn't get it. <laughs> Yeah, what is it? it it's, well, hold on. The sign to your, to your right. Go back. Yeah. yeah, right there. Yeah. Indiana Jones. Got the warning. Oh, but not the sign itself. Yeah, but not like the actual marquee on this post to the left. But, uh... mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably what it was. They probably assumed they were going to get the clearance from Lucasfilm and then didn't and yeah. had to go back in and remove it. <laughs> Forgot one. I wonder how they created... This entire environment, like you think they started with photographs, and then used the photos to do to render the three D, the basic three D. I mean, I, the idea that someone's uh, drawing uh, individual trees doesn't doesn't really make sense to me. Also, those manual covers are huge. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm but, curious if they started with like Google Maps maybe and did an outline and. Uh, figured out kind of where everything was supposed to go that yeah. way. Because the spacing on everything is, like, perfect. It's perfect, yeah, exactly. Uh, Kyle asks, what are your favorite uh, Disney Parks background music loops? I, I, have, I have a couple of favorites. I, I, all of mine are 80s Epcot, basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, so, yeah, uh, 80, in fact, I listened to the original uh, Epcot uh, park entrance music loop this morning. The other one that get, uh, that I like, I love the uh, the nineteen eighties Magic Kingdom background uh, entrance loop, which is really you good. Like, I, I, but I, I was gonna say the the one I, I really like too is the uh, the nineteen eighty five Space Mountain loop. Is really it's very like kind of sad and wistful, so I have to be in the right mood to listen to it. But uh, it's really really pretty. I Where'd have, you get the, Where do you have that? The eighty five. Do I have that? I have oh, fallen I asleep to the um, Disney Walt Disney Studios Paris nighttime entrance loop uh, countless times. Mm. Like it's so really? relaxing and chill. It's just a bunch of uh, calm movie scores. It's very good. Um, What's it? The, wait, what's it called? It's the the Walt Disney Paris. Studios Paris nighttime loop entrance loop. Hold on, let me check. And so the uh, Aquasphere Plaza. Entrance loop from Tokyo Disney Sea, day or night, so relaxing, so good. Like Brian said, all the '80s Epcot stuff is is awesome. Oh. I don't have that from uh, Disneyland Paris. And Brian, which one were you saying for Ep for um, Magic? I think it's the I think it's the '85 entrance. Magic Kingdom or Epcot? Magic Kingdom, Space Mountain. Oh, Space um, Mountain. Hold on, Tomorrowland. I think that's the one it is. I don't know. See, I have a, I have just like clusters of background music files on my computer that I kind of compiled over the over a long time, so they may be mislabeled <laughs> and stuff too. I don't ha I don't have a, anything that specifically says 1985. Lynn, I can send you all. It's <laughs> I mean, I've got like I've got like 20 gig of, of background music. Uh, is it the wait? Is it the new Tomorrowland stuff? Probably, yeah. It's it's when looks like googling it. It looks like that's when RCA removed their theme song was eighty five. Okay. So I think it was basically the first of the composed Space Mountain thing. So yeah, it was probably in with a, a Tomorrowland suite. Okay, so I've got it. Uh, I've got a an eleven part uh, of that. Let's see, what's the oldest thing that I have in terms of audio? I've got so much Horizon stuff, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, we have taken a tour of the entire park. Um, so I don't know if you want to wrap this up or keep answering questions. 
Let's go for uh, let's go for another seven minutes till two forty-five, and we'll uh, we'll answer questions. All right, okay. sounds good to me. Where should I head? What do you guys want to see? Uh, oh, JL says the Pandora Loop is great. The Pandora Loop is great. Oh yeah, I don't have a copy of it. Yeah, I love I love Park's music because uh, I when I work I I don't like music with lyrics because then I pay attention to the music <laughs> instead of doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So I use a lot of instrumental stuff. So I use a lot of like movie scores and and yeah. Park background music for that. It's funny. I have the exact same thing. In um, I went through and it took me like a day, but I went through the twenty thousand files that I have. And I picked out all the ones with background music. And then, of course, once you do that, you have to take out like the 17 different versions of Spaceship Earth background music. <laughs> music because I only need one. Yeah. Or the. Yeah, uh, but I've, I've actually have I actually have a, a music loop in uh, um, for Winamp titled Disney background music. Or you got to you got to <laughs> take out all the World of Motion uh, background music. Oh yeah, because you end up with uh, uh, 40 versions of Fun to Be Free. Yeah, and it's like it's like four <laughs> hours long. Yeah, uh, I can do one of those. They they really went for it with old Epcot music. Like they they went oh, yeah. all in with making all the music for it. No, oh, they were fantastic. Um, the one that yeah, the so one that drives me crazy is like the studios music background music because it, it's a it's a lot of movie scores. Yeah, and some of them is like, is this Superman? Is this you know? Guns of the Magnificent uh, or Guns of Navarro, like, the, yeah. like I'm trying to figure out what the movies are. Like you can figure out the Indiana Jones one, but to me, half of them sound like Superman. <laughs> a lot of them sound like. Well, it's that John Williams scoring. It's just yeah, they, they all Williams, sound yeah. not alike. That you're if you're not real familiar with the movie, you're like, wait, is this E.T. or Superman? <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> and then the other ones that uh, kind of drives me a little crazy after a while is uh, Sunset Boulevard with the '40s music. Mm. It's and it's the uh, you know they have that 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 really maudlin version of Wheel Me Again, Wheel Me oh. Again. Yes, yes. I can listen yes. to about ten seconds of that, and then I'm like, <laughs> I gotta get, gotta go. Ugh. it's just it drags on. Um, so Jeff here. Hi Jeff. Hi. Uh, he asks if we expect any permanent social distancing distancing changes to the parks, or it, will it just be short term after they reopen? Um, Len, what do you think about? about that I think definitely you'll see stuff um, I, uh, for months because hey Mickey um, the the trick will be how they enforce it over the long term like does everyone just I mean, Disney, Disney can tell you to, uh, to to social distance and you know they could do things like like try and enforce it by um, by keeping keeping the th every other theater row for example um, empty. The question is: Is uh, are they going to enforce it, and for how long? Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Yeah, I think that's going to be the issue with a lot of it is just I, whether people will do it and whether they yeah. can and are willing to enforce it. I, I don't think it's going to last more than a couple months. I mean, like we said, we may you may see more hand washing areas, more hand sanitizer yep. at the entrances and exits, stuff like that. And they, that may end up being permanent. Um, but I, I just don't think they can go too long with telling everybody like, okay, you know, you know, don't stand right up each other's backs in the queue. Like people just won't listen, and then then there will end up being fights because somebody will be like, this person's too close to me. I don't I don't like this. And yeah, exactly. Hello, Is that the line for Dole Whips that you ran by there? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be great if you could go up in the uh, into the treehouse. That would be fun. Hello, Jungle Cruise. What jungle, what's the Jungle Cruise minigame? Uh, I don't know. Let me uh, check that out. It's going to be a del little delayed on the stream, but I'm, I can assure you I am going back to it to check it out. <laughs> Hello, Baloo. Uh, do you think they're going to get rid of the WWE today on the TV in the resorts? Probably not, because no one's thinking of it. <laughs> also, they, also, they'd need to fill the content with something else, and that would cost money? Probably not what they're thinking of right now. It, it takes them forever to update some of the, that stuff. The, yeah. the in-room TV, the, the Magical Express videos and everything, like... 
it, it, it'll take them a while to mention new rides and things in there sometimes. So. Oh, yeah. Why can't we do this on the real Jungle Cruise, guy? Yeah. Why does it look like The Rock? Yeah, why does it look... Is, that, is the movie still coming out July 29th? Oh, that is for this year, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Huh. I mean, nothing's been delayed, like, past spring, I don't think, yet, but, um... It, it, who knows? Who knows what the summer's gonna be like? Yeah. I just wonder what they're gonna do with the delayed movies, you know, like with. Um, well, they, they could are, just are they just gonna like, pile them up and just have like blockbusters coming out every two weeks <laughs> until they get them all caught up again? I, I, just, I don't think so. I don't think they will because um, there's only so many movies that people are gonna go to, right? I mean, it's not like they're gonna go to a, to a movie a week out. People just people just don't do it. Um, so what'll happen is is like. A movie comes out, then uh, normally has sort of a long tail where people go in week two and week three. But then, you know, three weeks into the run of a movie, if you're dealing with all the movies that came out after one week, two weeks, and three weeks, you got basically three times the competition. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, they could go direct to uh, direct to streaming for those. So imagine if Jungle Cruise came out and it was like, oh, well, you know, sign up for Disney Plus for seven dollars a month, and you'll get to see every movie that we're going to release over the next year. Well, yeah, that would be great, but I, I don't know. Because I think it sounds like they don't want to do that with Black Widow. I think I, know. I think the director of Wonder Woman 85 already said she does, she wants it out in theaters. Like, they're just going to delay it until they can put it out. So uh -huh. I think a lot of the filmmakers are not going to want to go straight to video, basically. So now Disney might just say, well, too bad, but... Yeah. Yeah. You gotta imagine but if they, they, they like getting uh, all the money and not just yeah. like whatever they get after the theater owners get the money. All oh, right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then the theaters still have to exist at some point, right? Yeah, definitely. I'm still trying to figure out why this isn't the uh, why this isn't the uh, how the Jungle Cruise really works. Hey, give it a you know ten years, maybe we'll see if the. Popularity decline, and they'll, they'll add it in. Yeah, imagine Jungle Cruise plus Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. I mean, most rides would be better if they were a shooting game, also. <laughs> <laughs> Going down the Matterhorn, trying to shoot at the yeah. Yeti, and so. Yeah. Matterhorn already almost breaks my ribs. If I only had one hand holding on, I can't. I don't know what yeah, I'm like, doing. Like, like, were people more flexible back in the fifties? Like. What? Oh, right. Wonder Woman is delayed till August. Interesting. Do we want to wrap this up? Yeah, I think this is a good good job on this uh, guy. Yeah, thanks for joining me, Len and Brian, and thanks everybody in the chat for joining us and everybody watching. Hope everybody enjoyed it and stay safe. I know everybody keeps saying that, but uh, you know it's true. It is. Um, all right. All right yeah. Cool. We'll, uh, we're going to wrap Let's, this up. Say, say goodbye, Brian. Well, Brian. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.